one man banding it. Do you guys, are you guys one man bands yourselves? Or? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what we do all day long is we do one man band stuff. So how do you come up with uh, like character themes for each of the characters? Well, you know those like one man band people at the, yeah, yeah. in the plazas and you put a bass drum on their back and the cymbals? <laughs> That's what we do. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, no, what we like. I say, Sonder, how do you like this? And then, no, sorry. Uh, well, so, for this, ahead. I mean, for this, we, you know, it was, there's, there's this fairly obvious route of kind of looking at where they're, where they're from, right? In terms of the gods and where they're coming from kind of uh, geographically, but we kind of shy away from that kind of stuff because it seems to be a little too on the nose, so we kind of, we're more about creating textures for each character. So Just going polka for Chernabog would be a little too much. <laughs> Chernabog actually was a more of a, like a kind of Shostakovich kind of like, like modernist uh, Eastern European classical sound. And then like for Wednesday it's a, it's a choir, whereas you know, it's not like a Viking thing is ne not necessarily choir, but he's he's an epic character, so we wanted it to feel epic. Um, and then there's you know there's characters that have clarinets that are played, but in a more in a Middle Eastern kind of kind of yeah right. Um, and actually, the gin actually has a kind of a rock blues theme, which is I don't know why we did that, but that's what we felt. <laughs> he's riding around on a motorcycle all day. He's American that point. <laughs> Do you have a personal favorite theme that you guys wrote? Man, I don't know. I always I like Wednesday. I like Wednesday's choir because it's so over the top. It's like a bunch of like basses and baritones in a choir going like Whoa. it's like I a, insane. I had a lot of fun on um they go quite a bit into Mad Sweeney's backstory, who's is the, the leprechaun and um we did a kind of a, a Celtic, like hurdy gurdy theme for him, which is um, happens a lot in the seventh episode, and um, that, I think that was my favorite part. And then, have you guys been part of like Brian's team before? Like, did you work on Hannibal before this, or? Oh no, oh, no, we're not. We're totally different composers then. Yeah, we're we our didn't own do thing. first season. Yeah, oh, okay. so, you guys yeah. knew for second season. Yeah, we were Brian's not on the season. He was only did the first. Season. So how was it to step into someone else's shoes that had already been established? We didn't step into any shoes. No, there was no like, we want you to continue off what he was doing. No, they were like, you guys just go ahead. It's going to be a whole new season, new attitude, go do your thing. I think what was important is just we had a, uh, we have a lot of respect for what he did for season one and we, we didn't want to like trample on that at all, but we wanted to kind of blow it up in our own way. So, Thank you guys so much. I love talking to composers.